bet it would. Now, they've been in the music business for over 40 years, they're brothers, and they've got an unmistakable sound. And for my next guest, Andrew Morn Hughes, the Bee Gees are number one. Welcome to you, Andrew. Thank you. When was the first time you heard the Bee Gees? Uh, it was late in 1978. Uh, I was in a furniture store with my parents, and I heard this uh, song coming over the PA. And uh, my parents wanted to kind of leave, but I didn't. I wanted to find out who this was. And uh, that's when I first heard the name the Bee Gees. Which was the song? Uh, Too Much Heaven. So did you rush straight out and buy it? Uh, the album hadn't been released at that point, but uh, yeah, as soon as it came out, I went out and bought that one. So this is, this is where it all started? That's where it all started. Except, of course, that you had already heard Grease, hadn't you? Uh, without the prior knowledge of knowing that Barry Gibb had actually written the song, yeah. Which is quite interesting, because I think an awful lot of people wouldn't be aware of quite how much material Absolutely. the Bee Gees have recorded for other artists mm -hmm. as well. More about that in just a moment, because now a little treat for you, Andrew, and for Bee Gees fans everywhere. Have a look at this. Where was that and when was that? That was at uh, Shepperton Film Studios back in 1989. Uh, it was a warm-up show for uh, the One for All tour that they did of Europe that year. And why is it special to you, Andrew? Uh, because I'm in it. <laughs> you are in it. Let's just have a look. There you are, a freeze frame as the camera was going along the front of the audience. How did you make sure you got in there? And which one is you? It's that one down at the uh, bottom the left. The little fella at the front right. and the bottom there, yeah. Did you have to jump up a lot? Uh, quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> but you were in it. Let's talk about the collection now. You've got stuff spanning their whole career. And we say it goes right back to the 60s, doesn't it? They were quite prodigious, yeah. recording songs and writing songs for other people from a very young age. Let's look at the rare records that you've got over here. Tell us about some of those. Uh, well, this is the very, very first single over here, released in uh, March of 1963. Um, and over here we have some uh, fan club records which were released, um, this being the first in 1971 and this one 75 and 79 on this one here. As rarities, how limited were the editions of these? Uh, these two fan club records were limited to 200 only. Right, so they're worth quite a lot quite a to lot. any collector. Mm -hmm. um, now, you have direct involvement, I know, with the Bee Gees management. Mm -hmm. They know that you know an awful lot. Tell us about some of your credits on these items here. Okay, well this is a set of uh, commemorative stamps that they had put out in the Isle of Man a couple of years ago. I was asked to write the, uh, the booklet to go with that and I provided m much of the imaging on it as well. Uh, I've also been involved with a couple of TV shows and uh, um, a tribute album over here. And I'm also credited on uh, the live album. Have you met the Bee Gees themselves? Many a time. Many times. Tell us about this cup. That cup. Well, talking about the, the One for All tour, I went to see um, well, about 30 concerts during that tour. And uh, at the end of it, uh, they presented me with this uh, little trophy, which uh, states, Andrew Morn Hughes, best performance by a fan, summer 1989. <laughs> <laughs> and just to show how absolutely dedicated you are, down here at the front, you have what I consider to be possibly the kitschest item I've ever seen. Where did you find this? I found it in a record store in Birmingham. Um, I beat them down a, a few quid before I actually took the plunge, <laughs> because I'm not quite so keen on it as you. <laughs> You keep this one a bit hidden away, do you? Just about, yeah. <laughs> Andrew, thank you very much for showing us the collection. Thank, thank you. you. Now, if you've got a collection you'd like to share with us, write in to Collector's Lot, P.O. Box 17, Plimpton, Devon, PL7 5YG, or email us at lot at 24.co.uk.